Good day, favorites. Welcome back to another episode of your favorite talk. And today is your favorite talk on physics. All right, I've been taking question, and this question was thrown to me. Okay, let's go. A stone is projected vertically upward with a velocity of 20 meters per second. Two seconds later, a second stone is similarly projected with the same velocity. When the two stones meet, the second one is rising at a velocity of 10 meters per second. Neglecting air resistance calculates the length of time the second stone is in motion before they meet. Two, velocity of the first stone when they meet. Acceleration due to gravity is what 10 meters per second squared. So, solution, let's solve. First of all, let's illustrate this using what? Diagram. We have the first stone, the first one. All right. There comes a point when these two stones meet. Two seconds later, when the first one was being what? Projected, the second one was what? Projected. Now, how is that possible? It means that this first stone went up, exhausted its velocity, and started coming down. Then the second stone was projected up. Then there comes a point. They did what? They meet. So the first stone was projected with what? The initial velocity is what? 20 meters per second going up. The first stone, all right, went up. So the first stone was going up, then later coming down. And the first stone coming down. Now the second stone was projected upward. It comes a point, they did what? They meet. Going up while the first one is what coming down. So they did what? They meet. The initial velocity right here is what 20 meters per second. The same thing with this one. They are similar. So at maximum height, velocity is what? Zero. Now I want to calculate the what the length of time the second stone is in motion before they did what? They meet. The length of time. So we are taking the time it takes the word the second stone to get to this word, this place. So let's bring out the parameters of the word the second stone. The initial velocity is what? 20 meters per second. The final velocity at this point when they meet and right here in the question, 10 meter per second. The second stone, the second one is rising at a velocity of 10 meters per second. That is when they meet. So therefore, it was 10 meters per second, right here, 10 meters per second. Then we have what? G, acceleration due to gravity is what? 10 meters per second square. And of course, we are looking for what? Time, T. So we are going to use the, the equation of motion, V equals to what? U plus or minus g t. So we use what? Minus. Because it is against what? Gravity. We know. So therefore v is what? 10. u is what? 20 minus what? g t. g is what? 10. We are looking for t. So this is what? 10 t. So we rearrange form of collecting like 10 minus 10 t to this side is what? 10 t. This is what 20, then take 10 to the other side is what minus 10. So therefore, t 20 minus 10 is what is 10. Then make t subject formula. So it's 10 divided by what 10 equals to what one second. So the length of time is just what one second. So therefore, time is what one second. Now let's go to the second one. Velocity of the first stone when they meet. Now, this question is very funny. Velocity of the first, of the first stone when they meet. <laughs> it's already the question. Because these two stones, they are what? They are similar. They are similar. We are neglecting air resistance right here. So if we take the word, the second stone to get to this place. 10 meter per second. The velocity of the second stone right here is what 10 meter per second. That 
that means the velocity of this of the first stone right here is also what 10 meter per second neglecting what a resistance it's the same thing but even if we solve through through going up coming down at this point we'll still get the same thing 10 meter per second all right let us solve let us solve through and you see that we have the same thing okay now the time it took the second stone to get to this place is what when they meet is what it's just a what a second meanwhile this first stone is already being in motion for what two seconds before this one was thrown up and then they meet a second later so therefore that that is the first stone has spent three seconds before they meet because it took two seconds it, the first one was thrown up. Two seconds later, the second one was thrown up. And the second later, they did what? They meet. That means total time, total time when they meet, when they meet, is equal to what? Three seconds. Three seconds. So we are looking for the velocity of the world, the first stone when the meet. Okay, let's do it this way. We are going to solve for the time it took the stone to get to this to this point. We do it one after the other. We are using the long process. Normally, it's just ten as a quick uh, method, but in this case, we want to use the long process to verify these things. So we we'll solve for we we'll solve for for the time. It takes to get to this maximum height, and then the time it takes to get to this one, this this point. So therefore, at maximum height, we are we are going to solve for the the motion from here to this place, from here to this place. That is the first one took off, went to maximum height, went to this place. At maximum height, the final velocity is what zero. Now coming down. The initial velocity, you start with what? Initial velocity. The initial velocity becomes zero. Now, at this point, the final velocity, that is what we are looking for. Going up, the going up, exhaust is velocity, final velocity is zero. Coming down, it starts with what? Initial velocity is zero. And then we are looking for the velocity when they do when they, when they, what? When they meet. So, we are going to get the time from here. To this point from here to this point this length the length of time from u towards v but how do we get u towards v the total time it takes to get to this place when they meet is what three seconds but first let us get the time at what maximum world at the time it takes to get to what maximum height and then we subtract it from the total time and then we get the time rate from this point to this one point. So therefore, time at what maximum height, at maximum height, time at what maximum height, we use the word, the equation of motion, V equals to what U plus or minus GT. Now it's going up against gravity, so it's what minus U, V. B at maximum height is what? Zero. U is what? 20 minus what? GT. What is G? G is what? 10. Then it's T. So therefore, we are looking for the word, the time. So take minus 10 to the other side. Change it to what? 10 T equals to what? 20. So therefore, T is equals to what? 2 seconds. T is equals to what? 2 seconds. So all right, it took two seconds to get to what maximum height. When it's coming down from here to this place, it takes what? Just a second. Just a what? A second. So I'll call this, this is what, the time to get to what maximum height. Now, the ball is coming down. The stone, rather, is coming down. It's coming down. OK, let's bring out the parameters again. Parameters again. OK, we need to turn this side. I've exhaust the board.
Is this the odd we are solving for what? Map we got two. Okay, so let's bring out the parameter. The initial velocity is what? Zero. The final velocity is what we are looking for. And then the time. The time, of course, is what? Just the what? A seconds. Because the total time is what? Three seconds. And time we use to get to what? Maximum height is what? Two is two seconds. That means from year to year is what? One seconds. So, and then of course, G is equal to what? 10 times the seconds squared. Okay, we are using the equation of motion. V equals to what? U plus what? U plus or minus GT. And the stone is what? Coming down due to what? Gravity. So we are using what? Plus. So V, we are looking for the final velocity. U is what? Zero plus what? G is what? That's 10. Then T. T is what? One. 10 times one is what? So the final velocity at this point when they meet is what? 10 meters per second. The same thing with the what? The second stone when they meet. When they meet, the second stone is what? 10 meters per second. The funny thing is that these two stones went up with a what? The same velocity. Neglecting air resistance. So at this point, it's going to be what? 10 meters per second. Require this one. Neglecting what? Air resistance. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of this one episode. I'm still taking questions. Feel free to send me your questions and then share. Share the video, please. Share the video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you and God bless you.